Browdy. I am Marjorie Egan. You are listening to 96.9 WTKK. Our numbers are 617-8221-969. Verizon callers pound 96.9. We'll get back to the burning question about the Celtics switching from short pants from the last uh, championship game with the Lakers to long pants now <laughs> in the last hour. But we have with us the governor of the Commonwealth, Deval Patrick, who's here for his hour. And in a break from tradition, we're going to shut up and let the governor say hello and go right to the callers. Hello, Governor Patrick. Hello. I don't know what to do. I know this. I, I just, it's I odd. don't know, I don't know what to do. There's this awkward silence here. It's as if Jim is not in the room. It's never yeah. happening again, so I would See, any interrupting me already. Exactly. I'm sure you agree, just to get you on the record on this as well, you, you think the longer pants for the Celtics are better than the short shorts that they the used Celtics to wear in the Celtics are all about style yeah. and performance. Performance. And uh, I'm going tonight, so I can't wait are to you see going the tonight? style and performance. Oh, yes, I am. It's, it's going to be great. awesome. Yeah, gonna it be is going to be awesome. Okay, okay. you just take the calls, Governor. That all flashing right. light. Let's see. Morgan is calling from the car. Morgan? Hi, Morgan. Good afternoon, Governor. How are you? I'm well, sir. How are you? I'm well, thank you. Good. Um, I'd love to have a little bit of a back and forth with you, but I know I don't have that opportunity, so I'll just go right to the question. Okay. Thumbs up or thumbs down on slots at the dog tracks? I, I think I'm a thumbs down. Where are you? I am a thumbs down as well. Are you? Um, I appreciate your opinion. My, uh, my reason for it... You just say the, that because I agree with you. Uh, I'd love to say it's that, but I've actually been a, a supporter of uh, the plight of the uh, the Greyhound for about 12 years now. I see. But um, primarily, I guess my concern is just that if we do have the thumbs-up situation, even given the ballot initiative, which of course will be in the voters' hands, my concerns would just be that you do have, you know, dogs sitting in crates 23 hours a day, and if slots are making money and that keeps the tracks open, that doesn't take away from the scenario where the trucks are actually going to be losing money on dog racing. I understand so what you're it saying. It really becomes a subsidy at that point. You know, Morgan, Morgan in fairness, in fairness to, your, to your question, my thumbs down, I come at my thumbs down in a diff, from a different place, um, and it's based on, the, uh, on uh, the, the work I did, the homework I did running up to our proposal on resort uh, casinos because what I um, concluded from that was that um, so-called convenience gambling where you know the slots at the tracks are at um, you know kind of a slot machine at every 7-eleven um, would get us um, not the economic upside in proportion to the social impact that if we had destination resort casinos it would be better for us in terms of the economic impact and being able to control the social uh, impact and to do them uh, fewer in uh, uh, in number. Uh, now there there is a lot of talk that if this comes back, we may have to find some compromise. And obviously, um, we'll. But if cross casinos, that, the big picture comes right, back. Right, right, and, and and we'll cross that bridge when it comes to it. But I just want to be clear with Morgan and the and the listeners that my thumb I come at my thumbs down from a different place than he does. Why did you oppose uh, your friend Sal de Macy's suggestion that there be an advisory question on the November ballot that would allow people to voice their opinion on casinos? Well, I think I guess because you know we. We know what people's opinion is on uh, on casinos. They've expressed it, and and um, and the House had expressed it. So it was clear that the question isn't going anywhere in this in this session. You know, let's move on to other things. We've been concentrating on uh, on getting the life sciences bill passed and the energy bill passed. The oceans bill has now passed. I'm I'm happy to say, a big part of the transportation bond bill has passed. There's several other bonding. Uh, issues uh, remaining, and the and the number, the amount of time left in the session is is short. So I wanted to concentrate on that. You know the life science thing, which I, I think even your fiercest critics admit that should it make it all the way all the way through the legislature is a pretty big victory, both for job creation and for you personally. Big front page story in the Globe saying a lot of the biotech industry is not very happy with a lot of the amendments in the House, specifically an amendment by the chief guy in the House, Dan Bosley, who's almost worked for you, chair of the something committee, who. Uh, uh, earmarked $49 million for some sort of center, science center, at his alma mater in North Adams, which does not even have a graduate science department. And the consensus was, this is the worst of sort of sending pork home kind of thing. If that piece is in the ultimate bill, does it survive your desk? Well, first of all, the, you're right, you're right with, the, uh, uh, with the qualifier in your question. We don't know, um, and the public doesn't know, that that is going to be in the ultimate bill. Um, 
that is separate and apart from the merits of that building uh, at that place. I happen to think, uh, having visited the college twice and had the case made to me directly by the uh, by the college and also by the Board of Higher Ed for uh, for the need for that facility in that region uh, of the state, that there's a lot of there's a lot of wisdom there uh, in investing in that. There's a, it's a separate question where the right whether the right place to do that is in the life sciences bill rather than some other legislation which is pending right now and we're trying to work that and a few other issues out with the uh, with the conferees right now and i think they will get worked out